G'day, my name's Matt. Uh, I'm going to be learning to draw. Da, 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 da. Um, so, uh, a little bit of a backstory. Um, I did make a video and then I realized that the audio wasn't on at all. So, we're redoing the video. <coughs> uh, we're stuck in lockdown at the moment. Um, and so. I've got a few projects that I want to work on. Um, I've written a story, a short story uh, for children, um, and I want to get it illustrated. So far, I haven't had any luck getting it illustrated. Uh, I've tried with various people, but for whatever reason, you know, it's just fallen through. They haven't gotten back to me, that kind of a thing. Um, so I figured uh, now is as good a time as any to learn to draw again. Um, so I did draw when I was a bit younger. Uh, yeah, I even took some classes, um, and I really enjoyed it. I um, just haven't done it in a long time. Um, and my skills back then, obviously, as a child, were pretty rudimentary anyway. Um, so we're going to be given drawing a crack, um, hopefully uh, to fill out some of my projects. Um, uh, also, I uh, should know that I um, started a, a company um, called King's Artifices, um, and that's what we're going to be doing most of our creative projects under. Um, and you can hear my little daughter in the background. Can you want to come say hi, Gwen? This is Gwenny. Um, she has been doing things with hairbrushes. Um, yeah, uh, so we're going to be keeping it pretty low key. Um, uh, as you can see in the background, the house is a little bit of a mess. Um, but look, if, if I never start, it's never going to happen. So uh, you might hear my wife in the background washing dishes. Um, you might hear my little baby boy wake up. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep going and uh, see how we go. Um, one th oh, there he is right now. Um, so uh, I don't have the right uh, equipment in terms of... Um, uh, multiple cameras and uh, a good camera angle for drawing um, but as I said we're just going to get started and uh, hopefully it'll improve over time and give you guys a better look um, I did try to live stream today but um, YouTube needs 24 hours to process your request or something like that um, so I can't live stream but I wanted to show you the start of when we were starting to draw again for first time. Um, so I've got um, the all important pencil, just a, what is it, a 2B, something like that, HB, HB pencil. Um, I've got a little drawing kit and a little sketch pad. So a little sketch pad and I'll, I'll show you, I'll zoom down a bit Dad, so you can, can see. I help? Yeah, I want to... You want to help? Yeah. Really? You know how to draw. You do know how to draw. You're fantastic, Laura. Yeah. Um, but this is going to be Daddy learning how to draw. Maybe we can do some drawing together sometime. Would you like that? Okay. You want to do this? Well, Daddy's going to do it to start with, and then maybe um, you can do some later. Okay. Okay. I'll... All right. So um, yeah, this is what I'm working with. I've got a little uh, uh, drawing set. Um, I don't know whether you can read that. Faber Castell uh, Graphite Sketch Kit. It's got 2H, HB, B, B, 2B, 4B, and 6B pencils. <coughs> Pardon me. I uh, gave uh, the set to my wife, um, and she got to do some drawing with it, but uh, I figured I'll, um, I'll use it while she's not. Um, Alright, so uh, I've got my pencils, got my sketch pad. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, take a look at some YouTube videos on learning how to draw and uh, maybe follow some of the lessons, do a few sketches. I've written the date up the top here, 29th to the 7th, 2020. 2020, the year of the plague. Um, I wonder if that's what they'll call it. Uh, anyway, that'll be interesting. Alright, so I have uh, I did a little bit of um, looking at different videos um, to try and find one that was good. I didn't especially if one was good, but we're going to have a crack on anyway. Um, 
So we're looking at uh, a video, uh, learn to draw. I think it's like, what is that? Uh, this guy's just talking about his sketching materials. Uh, let's get to the part where he actually does some drawing. I don't know whether you can hear this in the background, but we'll see. Now that's a very messy circle, but you get the idea is that you don't want to commit See, this is more of something you want to do, and then you go back and kind of darken. Yeah, you can see the people drawing. Do you want to grab uh, the chair from over there, the blue one? The line, you can, you know, you find the shape within all those lines. You know, dark, go back and darken where I've committed. Something you don't want to sideswipe it. When sketch, the initial sketch, I don't know whether this is doubled up or not. Totally it's interesting. Right you don't want to just. Ooh. It doesn't look good, you know, compared to that one. This one is more of a circle because I, you know, I sketched it. <coughs> and this one I committed, you know, the first time I tried to do it. I just committed to it instead of sketching and refining. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I see. So this guy's saying that the best line if you lines. start with a circle, just a, let's do a small circle, so and you I commit to it, just a single line, that's not a that's not a good shapes. circle. But if you sketch it, as so in you, is. And you, can see I kind of you do it up a bunch of different lines that so, you don't fix be up. If, if you're drawing a tree or something or sketching anything, um, I suggest that you start drawing everything in your house, your your whole house layout. Start sketching everything. But if you if you're sketching a tree, you know, if you're doing like the trunk. Don't commit, you know, to this being the trunk. Don't commit to that. You know, kind of sketch it out first. Get the get the general idea. You can even get the the general shape. You know, just do really quick and then okay maybe it doesn't that dip in that much so you kind of you know, draw another line there another line there and then you know once you start finalizing it you kind of harden the, the edge where you need to and then these other these lighter lines will just disappear over time you know you only it's not even important that, that you have those lines there you can go back and erase later on when you're finishing up the sketch or the drawing but don't commit to the very first, you know, mo more than likely, it's not going to be perfect the first time you try to draw something. Uh, and you saw there with that circle that it was not good at all, um, compared to this one, where I, I took my time and sketched. So, keep yeah, that in mind nice. when, when sketching. That's the proper way to sketch. Now, making something 3D, this is two-dimensional because there's no depth, there's no shadow, really. Let's try a bigger so, one. So, the first thing you have to do, just like in painting, uh, if you follow my painting lessons that you've heard this before, you need to find a light source. So, where's the light coming from? I'm just going to say it's coming from over here. You know, okay. something to that effect. So you make sure you even sketch in the arrow. You, know, <coughs> you never know where you want it to come from. Let's so, the, the light is area. right here. There's the sun. Um, now you have to think three-dimensionally. Is it shining behind it, hitting the back of it? Is it right on the side there? Is it more toward toward you? Um, you know, it just depends. But we'll say that this is going to be really light, so the shadow is going to be over here. Okay, shadow over here. So this is what you need to practice doing. To start shading in really lightly these different areas of shadow. Trying to make things three dimensional. Now, in later videos, I'll get into Mom, some. I'm I'll get in, I'll go into depth on how to shade different techniques you can do. All these things, but you know, at the beginning, I just kind of wanted to give an overall thing that you need to start thinking about and, and making things look realistic and determining light sources and things. And this is what's we have. Soon can we start drawing? With your drawing set. Oh, I'm doing some drawing. I'm practicing doing the circle, like I you said. I want to do some drawing. You with, would like to do some drawing. With your, uh, 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 with with, me? With your drawing pad and that. Oh, uh, 
this that. one's Daddy's special Can drawing I... pad that I bought so that I can practice. Would maybe we'd get you a book of your own that you could draw in? What do you think about that? You could have your own little drawing pad. And the uh, own little set of drawing stuff. Oh, you want a drawing set, do you? Yes. Well, the trouble is, my dear, is that we've given you drawing set things before, but you and your sisters aren't very good at making sure to look after what you've got. Please. So. I, I won't do that again to work. You not you gonna look after it next time are you? Yeah. Oh maybe. I don't know, we'll have to talk to Mama. Just say Mum. One won't 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 do it anymore. Mm. Now <coughs> it looks like this guy has got a a darker or a a, a different kind of pencil than, than I have at present. Um, I wonder what HB he's got. That's a good question. Um, see, it's interesting. His one looks quite 3D, but mine doesn't. I wonder why. Oh, let's unpause the video. Let's unpause it? Yes. What are we unpausing it for? Because you're learning about... Oh, you mean I need to know a little bit more? Yeah. That's a good point. This is a very important foundation. Before you even begin a painting, before you begin drawing, always ask, where's the light source? How many light sources? Maybe there's another light source over here. So then the shadow's just down here. So, I mean, it, there's so many different factors that you need to be aware of. And, you know, and then it'll have a shadow like this. You know, and then you have to think, what is it sitting on? Is it sitting on something flat? Is it, you know, there's the background? Something like that, a little off. I guess I'm just trying but to copy what you he's get my point. Is it sitting on something like that? Is the shadow, does the shadow dip way down like this? Is it shit? Pretty more of a 3D like look. Um, there's many different things uh, you have to think about. So I want you to just practice things like this. Start it's sketching good. everything it's in your house. Get used to the, the sketching lines. Get used to the really messy uh, lines. Uh, uh, on the and same place again, then it makes it so and, uh, darker. Just try different de techniques. Start doing some cross hatching. We'll get into that a lot later. But hopefully this helps you just understand how to sketch and, and knowing that it may not be perfect the first time you try it. But that's what erasers are there for. That's why you have this big canvas of paper. You know, if this one didn't turn out well, okay, start over on this one. Try it again. Try it from a different angle. Try the light up here and then just, you know, okay, where's the shadow going to be? Actually, well, maybe there's another light source here. Okay, so now what do I do? You know, just shadow it up here a little bit. Hmm. You know, depending on the shape of the ball. Well, and maybe if you don't know the answer, you know, get a get a round object and put two lights on each side in real life and see where how does the shadow react. You know, there's probably a shadow over here like this. There's, there's going to be crossing shadows hmm. um, in real life. So, like, how, how does this work? You know, this is going to... I think this is pretty interesting um, that he can kind of visualize where the light is without an object. Whereas I think at least right now, I don't think I could visualize where the shadows go unless sort of told, like I'm basically just copying his, his uh, idea for where the, the shadows are. It's not too bad, I suppose, but it's still. No, it doesn't look lifelike enough. I think I like I need some sort of shadows on some side. His one is. 
Very interesting. Okay, so it's gonna be a really dark shadow. Maybe I better cross, find something to draw. There'll probably huh? still be a light shadow over here and a light shadow on yeah, this careful. side. Don't break our mouse so pad. That just depends. I mean, you have to really uh, think about it. this stuff. Well, this is our mouse pad, so if you scrunch it up, it's not going to work very good. And, and try it out and see, <coughs> see how realistic you can make things. Just simple sketches like this, and start trying trying it with uh, with cubes. You know, rectangular objects. Make them 3D, and get used to just doing these quick sketches. It doesn't have to be perfect. Get rid of the perfectionist mentality. Um, and get into the training mode. You know, lights coming over here. You know, that's going to be light. Little shadow there. Shadow, but this is going to be the darkest. You know, just things like this. Just play around and, and have fun with it, and see what you can come up with. And you know, once you get your cubes and all these different objects, that's all nature is. You know, this is this is just a, a big cylinder. You know, and then how is the light hitting it? There's a light here, so there's gonna be a big shadow coming this way, or whatever the case is. So play around, get used to the sketching lines. That's all I ask for you this week, and and get the materials and play around with everything sketching and have fun. Start time. sketching things in your house. Just get as far as you can. Just sketch things and. And if it looks terrible in the end, don't worry about it. Don't stress over it. Do your best. And uh, next week we're going to get into, you know, all this stuff. Um, well, you know, maybe it'll be shading or how to make things. Okay, so just pick pick objects in the house and sketch them. Is what you're saying. Uh, what object could we sketch? And the thing is, over here we do have a lot of light sources. Um, to create different shadows. We've got a lot of reflective stuff, so I'm not sure how to sort of incorporate that. Maybe I'll start with, oh gee. Um, uh, let's, ooh, you all right? I guess us were doing that. Um, gee, what should we sketch, Gwenny? Mm. What should we draw? You want to draw that? Alright, bring it over here and we'll hang it up and we'll draw it, eh? Hey? See, it's, it's, it's very pinkish. It is very pinkish, you're right. Let's put it just over here. Upside right, so down. And then, then we need to draw it. This is very cute, isn't it? Yeah. Okie dokie, so we've got a... I don't know whether you can see this. Let's, let's give the people a home overview. We've got a... a, a Fairy cat with some stripes and things. Um, it's a little toy for one of our children. I don't know which one. Oh, we're gonna hang it off our light there and we're gonna try and draw it. Okay, so it's got a big, big head. And it's kind of a, like a, like a sort of an almost, almost square head, almost. Maybe not square, but it's quite oval shaped. So it's kind of a bit round, like that. It's got a huge head compared to the and body. after that, we could draw something else. After that, we could draw something else. That's true. That's the beauty of drawing. You can draw some, as much as you can. Of, as much as you can stand. Okay, and then it's got a little body. After that, we could draw some of these. Okay. <laughs> Should we draw some of these stuff after that? Well, this one might take a little while, so we would probably just try and focus on doing this one first. So it's got kind of a, almost like an H for a body. And it's a little bit longer in the legs than I drew. So I'm I'm those out. Starting, and it's kind of a bit more. And the hips, but it's also got some arms here, but only kind of only tiny little arms. I think this is a good one to draw, Gwenny. You did a good job at picking. This will just take a little while. 
Smile. Just kind of got these almost like shark fin type arms. The trouble is, I'm drawing it straight on, but it's actually not straight on. It's more of a, a tilted angle. So, but I'm drawing it straight on on the page. I wonder how to amend that. I don't know exactly. But we'll you see. can break your picture uh, off. Break it off? Yeah, it's got a little tear line here, hasn't it? Yeah, so if you want to break it off, there's something to help you break it off, off just there for you. That's right. <laughs> Quinny, you know, I think you are going to be an internet sensation, do you know? You know what that means? No. Internet sensation? That means that you are going to be so popular because you are adorable. And got these kind of big floppy ears almost. And I'm, I'm, I got something to copy. You got something to copy? Yeah. Oh, now this is a tricky bit because we've got a lamp here. We've got actually got to draw this gigantic lamp and oh, it's going to be tricky. Uh, all right. Well, let's just let's just have a crack, eh? So it kind of comes this sort of this big oval here. How big is it compared to the head? Uh, pretty almost the same size. So we do it like this, but it's a bit more rounded, a bit more spherical than oval. Red. Mommy's making a smoothie. Oh You're gonna blend it. Oh, oh well, that's all right. These guys, be aware, blending noises are coming. Blending. Blending noises. Why are you rubbing out? Well, I think I got the position of the of the lamp a little bit wrong. It should be a little bit more uh, up a bit. This. Well, let's position the ear first, the bottom of the ear sort of comes out about here. That's why. That's why we got rubbers, isn't that? Up there, and then you can kind of just see, yeah, about there. So, alright, so we got a. We got two circles, one of them is. You've got a drawing kit. I do have a drawing kit. You are right. So if it is this, then it's this. Well, that didn't come out well, did it? If we get a pencil out, uh, but then... Huh? What I is my... Why is it's my so so then we can sharpen it. Whoa, whoa there tiger. Whoa, that's not good at all, but anyway, let's draw the rest of the thing you just kinda of got like a little bit of an uh, umbilical y kind of let's just draw a whatever up here. Just kinda of got a bit of a Gee, it's not it's not great, is um, it? Can I Blend. Getting two blend. objects together is the tricky part, I think. Now what are you got to Let's just do it as if. Blueberry. Blueberry smoothies. Sometimes blenders don't get it etched. Et, et. Yeah. Should we try 
These things happen, eh? I was so shocked. You're always confusing me about this lamp. Here, let me show you guys. Uh, can I show you? Let's see. Let's see if I can show you. Whoop! Dropping things. I don't know whether you can see this lamp, but it's got two... Sort of, it's got a clear bit on one side, and then it's got another thing. So I'm trying to draw two, two circles, but it's... But the trouble is it's... I don't know whether you can see that, but anyway, there's it's kind of two circles on this lamp. And now I've just adjusted it, so now my picture's gonna be different. Ooh, mistakes were made. Alright, well let's just draw the let's draw try to draw the eyes, hey? The eyes are kind of way off to the side over here. So let's draw them nice and light. Uh, How is it going? Yuck! Not good. I don't like it. Well, you don't have to have it. But we got a, like a tiny mouth. Well, maybe not so tiny, but it's like a. Is it on center? It's kind of off to the left a little bit. Like that. So the nose is. So, so the candy cat. Mouth has a little uh, a dot and some 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 bendy lines. Lines. Hey. It's all finished. <laughs> Not finished yet. Come look. It's. Missing some sparkly bits in its tummy. The uh, ear is not quite done, and this bit isn't quite done. Um, I might have to redo this, this edge of an ear as well because it's a bit too dark. I think I need it to be a bit less dark. Right, brush that off. Um, let's see if we can get it. I'm going to do a drawing, and this way. I need, need the rubber to rub out, then give it to me, and then I will give it back. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. So, if I accidentally put a circle on and I don't need a circle, then I might need a rub out. Then, no. So it does rub, rub, rub out. Oh, no, it's a pretty good rubber. What? I can't really understand your eye, and I forgot to put in the little stars under the eye. This is like a little thing that goes that way. Stars are not quite on point here. Need to fix them up a bit. Two stars we need. Two. Yeah, two. Because these two stars are the door. Yeah. All right. I'll do another one over here. See if it's any good. Gop, 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 gop. One. See, one of the things that I'm quite bad at is getting textures and shading right. I don't really practice textures and shading. I can't, and lighting. I'm pretty bad at lighting too. So if I need, need something out of your kit, just give it to me and then 
When I'm fish, then I will give it back. Is that how it works? Yeah. Trying to get these sprinkles just the way they are on the doll. Not that it really matters because you can kind of put them however you like, but if if I'm attempting to learn how to sketch something, I suppose I should at least try to... Oh, so there's a bit of a crinkle here, actually, I didn't notice before. There's a bit of a, bit of a kind of a wave there, which is kind of affecting the... Kind of affecting the My craft cupboard has all my paws and, and making stuff. I know, it does, doesn't it, actually? But I can't open my craft cupboard. Yeah. Do you want to go and ask Mummy if she can open it for you while I do this? Is that alright? I think she might be in her room. placement of these crackly things what are they called? sprinkles is a little bit off but you know, you do the best you can I suppose you spend a long time trying to perfect I suppose that's what good artists do is try to perfect These, there's ones in here that are yellow and there's some that are darker, so it's a bit hard to do in in graphite, I suppose. Now, one of the real tricky things about this is there is, aside from that silly globe up there that's really tricky, is um, there's uh, a lot of fur sort of texture on the on the doll. I think if I was to sit here and do the fur texture, it would take me for either. I wonder if there's a way you could do the shading so that it, so that it, uh, so that it looked like it was very even just through the shading. I wonder not you'd have to go through and do every very bit each individually. Okay, so it's kind of lighter on this side. It's kind of the direction of the light is almost like that, I suppose. Draw on the light direction. So this part here is kind of not as it is illuminated much better than the other side. Well, let's see if I can do these squiggly bits. So I've got a bit of a, a thingy here that goes in. But I haven't and, uh, my card carpet. Interesting, you don't actually see. I uh, suppose you do. Let's kind of go to rub some more around. So, this, this thing is it's much more.
Maybe I should draw what, darling? Draw this. It's a little bit more of it got on a curly railway thing. And two it's got a curly whirly thing. Yeah. Uh, two curly railway things. Oh yeah. Well, how about I finish this one first and then we can have a look at doing some more. This one's got a, got a thing here. So the top here is elastic, which is what I'm trying to get to with these little bumps and thing more what's it's and it's also got a kind of a dark bit under here. It's, and some stitching. It's kind of like that. Now, where's the bumpy bits? Kind of a bumpy bit in here. Okay, it's kind of like that. And a bump here to indicate that. And a kind of bumpy bit over here. I think I got that fairly good, which is surprising. Got a bit of shading in here. Bit of shading in here. Another big dark patch that connects to that. And kind of a soft bit of shading here. Softer. Can I use one of your pencils? How about I give you a pencil that's not one of my special ones? Yeah. Let's have a look here. Aha! There you go. Nice small one for your size hand. It's perfect for you. I just hold it by the bottom of that. That's Can I right. Draw? Yes, go draw. Enjoy. Learn. And if I, I accidentally do something else, if I accidentally draw a circle, then I'll make you. You need me to. Oh, somehow I messed up the the shading here, but anyway, let's try like another shady bit here. It just brings into a, like another cone of a shade over here. I need your rubber. Oh, I need my rubber. But I need my rubber. Alright, I'll let you use it, but you bring it back, okay? Don't uh, forget to bring it back! How does that one go? Oh, it's kind of like a... Interesting, it's like a... Maybe this one's more to the top, I guess. Let me get like a soft little... Thing there. Now, for some reason, I guess I haven't got the lighting right on this, but it doesn't actually 
I mean, I've got dark spots where there are dark spots, but it's not blended properly, and the light doesn't seem to see through, so I guess it's dark on this side, it's some dark on this side. Dark on this side. Darker on this side. It's really quite dark red, but I wonder how you do shadows with like. So, for instance, on this ear here, there's like a, a, a slight shadow. Oh, thank you. Thank you, darling. So, we've done these bits. Um, we've done that. We need to probably make these a bit darker because they're quite dark on the, on the doll. And also quite thick. Let me see if I get these right. Again. Because I accidentally made a, the butterfly too big. Oh, better fix that butterfly. <sighs> so I've actually got to figure out how this <coughs> silly thing goes. It's like an op optical illusion, right? It's a, a kind of a. Thing and it goes out wide, I think. Let's just do it really light and see if I can get a good circle going here. So it really is a good circle. I just keep. Do you know that I accidentally made the blood of like too big? It's Aurora's fault, is it? Yeah, Aurora made me think, oh, the butt flies so, so, so big. Aurora. So, the thing with this one is it kind of goes that way. That way. And it also kind of goes out this way as well. I mean, it's more seamless than that. Now we're going to draw the inner circle, which overlaps the other one. Okay, so let's try and just keep it the same distance apart, I suppose. That should bring this in good stead. Oh, the blood to fly so big. Mm. Yeah. So 
I don't know whether it's good to turn the page like this, like, it's kind of instinctive, but at the same time, you've been kind of told not to do it, um, because it improves your line work if you do it. Thank you. How's your butterfly coming? Good? Good butterfly? Excellent. But, oh. Got some puffs. Oh, yeah, that's Aurora. That's our... Third child. All right, so I got this down pat. Now it doesn't match up quite well. See, this circle is supposed to be down lower, closer to the thing, because this first layer is actually see-through. But anyway, we're gonna, gonna pretend like I got it right, and we'll just extend the ear and pretend like it didn't uh, it didn't fail. Uh, this one's pretty thin, actually. This one. So yeah, I kind of failed in that regard. The the light glitter needs to be down more. The wind blew the door open. Do you guys want to block the uh, shut up for me? I want you want to shut it. Do you want to shut it, Aurora? Because I don't. Because Gwenny doesn't. Okay, it's got a little light light globe in here. Close the door, Gwenny. Can you close it? Push shut. No, that's open. We want to close it. Close it. Do it the other way. No, that one's the other door. We don't want to open that. We want to close this big wooden one. Can you close it? Can you close the door? The question for the ages. Now, I'm basically stuffed with this light globe. Like, how I don't know how to replicate this tech, the, the texture of a globe, like with all the light shifting and bending. That's uh, tricky. I don't even know how to do the, these ones properly, but anyway. We'll get there in time, right, guys? I accidentally made my butterfly too small. Do you need the rubber again? Yes. Okie dokie. All right, so we've got a... Uh, that, and then, uh, funnily enough, this ear has got little black raindrops on it. Yeah. And it's got half one there. And another half one here. So it alternates like this. And we've got a kind of thing in here. Interesting how it doesn't come out perfectly in place. Like, I think that's one of the things that frustrates me the most, the placement of objects. Hey, babe. Thank you. I, I never seem to get the placement of these things. Perfect. It's like, oh, that's not supposed to be there. Oh, what are you going to do, honey? Just work with what you got. I suppose you could rub it out and do it again, but I don't think I'm that pedantic. I'm just going to follow this pattern and hope that it turns out well. I think I'll be able to do the shading, but I don't think I'll be able to replicate the fur as yet. Maybe I'll come back and draw it some other time, huh? That, that, uh, it's 
my bio binder and some fruit. Let me just put a bit of spike here, that one. Yeah. Now, I don't even know whether this pattern is actually meeting up to standards of, I think that's way more, it's one, two, let's get one, two, three, four, five, it should be five across, one, two, three, four, I've only got four across. Again, small mistakes. All right, so let's do some shading then. So it's kind of that half, half of the face is is darker. It's kind of similar. There. And we kind of get like little bits of shading here. And most of that is dark, but there's a little bit of kind of light here. And there's like a bit of fluff hanging off this ear. And a bit of black fur. Oh. I need a rubber pen. A rubber again? Yeah. There you go. Thanks for bringing it back each time. We should firm up this edge, hey? I, I got uh, that special lava. I got that special Let's do a, a very fine shade, hey? Just so that we don't have to mess it up and start again. Thank you. So it's kind of the more firm shadings on the left hand side. Trying to get the lighting right. And I'm trying to just do it very gently over here so that it kind of blends a bit. I suppose I shouldn't have really drawn that line there on the side of the face, but anyway, learn, learn from mistakes, huh? Now this bit is absolutely dark, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, I can't do it absolutely dark because there's like a, there's like a. Why do you unpause it? Well, because he gave us the advice, and we've taken the advice, which is to draw stuff, right? Practice drawing stuff in the home. I think is what he said. So it's two thirty. Two. Me with my boy, and then after 
Okay. And then we can do a, a, a drawing in this your kit. You want to do a drawing with my kit? It after um, my drawing. Okay? We'll see. Probably darling. We'll, we'll probably do that off stream though. Okay. X. Put you. So realistically, the stick is going to be a bit longer. Than I so then, it's actually much darker in here than it is out there. I think this is where that cross hatching kind of a thing might come in handy. Where uh, so I watched a video about cross hatching a little while ago, and it's about not doing what I'm doing currently um, to create shade more evenly and presumably with less consequences. Than currently am. I mean, I used to do this thing with the, your hand to like blend the graphite so that it's not as seen. I don't know whether you're supposed to do that anymore or whether you're ever supposed to do it. Anyway, that's my, that's my drawing. Now, yeah, the placement of this lamp should be a little bit lower. The shading's not quite on point, but, and then, obviously the fur isn't really in there at all. I haven't really done the, the stitching here in much justice, because it was a, kind of a cross stitch type thing. It goes into the center here like this. See, it makes it look dark when it's a yellow colour. Yeah, well. I think I need to just sharpen my pencil though. It's a picture. So the guy said to sort of practice shading and getting the shading right, but gee, 
that's tricky. And also, I didn't even do the attachment, so there's actually an attachment to the bottom of the thing. I don't, you know, I'm going to see you, show you this bit on the bottom, and I didn't draw that. Oh, I didn't draw the tag either, the tag that comes out of the back over here. China. Yeah, I definitely need to sharpen my pencil if I'm going to be doing fine writing. Probably should have done it up here, but anyway. You're going out? Yeah. You're going to go get Evie? Yeah, but we're not going to drive. You're not going to drive, you're going to walk? Yeah. Well, you know what? I think I might wrap up this video so that I can come with you. Would that be nice? Yeah. We could so go we, for a walk together. So a boy come, that mum come, and you come. Yeah, we're all going to go. All right, but, so just a moment. All right, so this is Matt from King's Artifices uh, drawing for the first time in a long time. Uh, this is my first attempt. Uh, baby too harsh. Got a lot to learn, know that much. I suppose I should practice some of the harder things rather than just kind of giving up on them. But next time, I gotta go get Evie, my oldest daughter. All right, signing off.